girls that mad dog me all the time and I don't understand why now I'm just like it's 2019 guys uplifting other girls and empowering other women is a new cool thing to do what are you guys doing come on get with it when I first met Jason he was so polite so sweet just so like caring and loving and I thought that that was so attractive like him being so respectful and saying please and thank you I was like whoo baby damn what's up guys I'm currently listening to my favorite Elena Cardone she is such a boss she is my new like inspiration like I look up to her her and her husband have made just this huge empire and I'm just like so inspired I'm just picking her brain and totally like giving me this whole new mindset so it's just like life-changing and it's amazing part of the growth journey so the kids are gonna make their own book and it's gonna be super cool and I used to love doing stuff like that and so I just remember being a kid and like making little fun projects for me and my brothers even though they didn't really necessarily think that that was fun I made them do those things with me <laughs> I was evil. Kids are just gonna decorate their stuff and I'm gonna show you like a few things that I like to get from Target and like Dollar Tree and stuff for fun projects at home. So these are a few things that I picked up from the Target Dollar Spot last year and I just wanna show you guys real quick because I love that place especially during the summer or right before school because they just have really cool things and I have this envision in my head. I wanna make a play area so I picked up some stuff. Again, this is like from last summer but I still haven't used it. This is the package of books that I was telling you guys about. And they're $3 and they come with eight and my kids are using two of them, but there's just a bunch of cool colors and then they're a blank. So they, you know, get to customize their own book and they come with like a pretty good amount of pages. And so I just thought that would be so cool. So I already opened one and I have another pack for another time. They have these kinds of things and they're felt books. They also have this huge map of the whole world and you get a stick where different animals go um, around the whole world. That's why I have like this giraffe here. So it's this huge felt map. It comes with so many animals and then you just learn where they come from and then stick them there. I don't know where this is from exactly, but it has like hawks, alligators, and a bunch of fish too. So it's pretty cool. This is another thing you can get there. They come with like a bunch of little felt, um, little character things so you would like open up the book and then you know you put them in here and then you get to just like stick them wherever they go throughout the book so it's pretty cool I just have to find all the pieces there in my craft thing and it comes with like all of these things and it comes with like colors and I have this idea of like making a cool colorful area for the kids and so I picked up last year this um, banner and it says reading and I'll make them like a little nook and hang this up and it'll be super colorful and then I got this like this tassel banner it has a bunch of different colors just to make it look super cool and then this was three dollars this was three dollars I don't know how much this was but I'm assuming it was like three dollars and this turn on and I think they're battery operated so you know you don't have to plug them in my baby girl has a cough and then you just like hang them up and it would be super colorful like I just see it being really colorful, super cute where they can paint, play with Play-Doh and all kinds of stuff. So that's my plan for the reading corner slash art corner and then we'll have a cool little table for them and everything. So yeah, hopefully I can get that done soon. But so the best place for craft stuff is Dollar Tree. I wouldn't recommend paint or like, and then the markers are okay but then again the kids ruin them. And then this table here in the chairs, these ones are from Jason's grandma, but these white chairs are from Ikea. It's super cheap. And this was a coffee table. It had like a middle part, but we just took it off. And now it's this long table for when they eat dinner. Pick out your book color. Pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, or teal, blue, purple. Good. Red? Okay, you're gonna make your own book. This is what we're gonna do. Mom's gonna give you markers and you can draw your own pictures. And mom's gonna give you glue to put all these inside, okay? okay. Another really cool thing that they have at the Target dollar spot for like $3 are these things here. 
$5 at the Target dollar spot. I don't know why they call it the dollar spot. If you wanna use these, you just get some glue like this. And then you open it and then you put it on the papel. And then you stick your eyes on there like that. Okay, you can put some some googly eyes. Ready? Let me show you. Grab it. Put some there. Now stick the eye on it. Feathers. Pick one. Eso. Put put a feather. Push. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay. Why are you leaving? This is your house. Come back. Where does she think she's going? Rosita, come back. These are it, what mommy said for you to get. Yeah, I want these ones. Try these on, they're okay. the same exact thing. Are these pink? Wait, these are pink. No, they're not. Yeah, these look black. It says black and pink. It's right there. Like mom. Black and pink. Right, vlog? Look, this is like the boy version of it. Yeah, I'll have this one. Okay, so let's try on your size. I think it's, they have white wait, wait, wait. and they have black. These ones are cool. They're pretty much the same thing, but boy style. Those are nice. You all have those. Okay, try those on. You like it? Yeah. Okay. Do they feel tight on your toes? No. Those Sophia is not feeling good, so she gave us all the Mexican <laughs> remedies for when you're sick. Because she has a fever, icky eyes, it's just not good. So she gave us some honey, vaporu, of course. She gave me this, manzanilla, of course, and a limon. We picked up some of these from Target and hopefully they're good. Um, they're organic flat lollipops with organic honey, watermelon, strawberry, orange, mango. Hey, can you give me the so, yeah. I need a chair. Can't reach. Poor baby girl. She's been shivering. I open the window and she's like, Mom, tengo frío. I know, well, yeah. Isaac! Okay. Oh, Isaac! Oh, she doesn't touch the temperature. Sandia? Si. Si. Yummy? Oh, yeah. Geniuses! totally recommend these over the regular ones that I get. I think they're like Halls brand and they just taste like not that good. Like they just, I don't know, they don't, they taste like medicine, you know? And the kids, they're supposed to trick the kids into it wanting to have them. But if it's not good, they're not going to eat it still, whether it has a little stick on it or not. So in the past, I have not had luck with those. And I also like the Fever Gel Packs. If you have me on Instagram, I made a post about it. But they really do cool down your baby's forehead. Sophia's had a fever, so a sore throat, and cough. So it's been pretty bad. I feel like she's had that all week. So Jason's grandma gave us some Mexican remedies and we're gonna try those out tonight. She's asleep. She's been sleeping all day. Like each time we would come home, she would just go to sleep. Yeah. Come over here. Come say hi to the vlog. Say hi vlog.
Jason's in the garage right now and he is getting ready to start his car that he's been working on. He got the Subaru WRX and he did an engine swap on it. It's just moment of truth right now. He's going to start it and see if it works. And I'm really anxious because you never know how that could go. And then when after working on it for so long, if it doesn't turn on, it's just like devastating and annoying. So... You know, I, I'm, I'm sure everything's going to be fine, but he just gets nervous, so I'm really anxious. So that's what he's doing right now. We're Getting ready for Cali with that California music or what? Yeah. I'm so proud of him. Like, he is a car genius. He doesn't, like, technically um, call himself a mechanic. He's more of a body, auto body guy. But he knows everything. Like, he has done engine swaps before on random cars he's never worked on before. Like, he's just so smart. He figures everything out. He is so intelligent and such a genius. Like, he's leaving to California tonight. So, Jason was just like, I have work to do. I'm gonna just. I might just stay and I was like no you go like I just see it as opportunity like if you know like go connect with people and look at some cars and look for some parts and I hope you guys are starting to like the content that I'm putting out it is just like a good variety of things that I love plants and positivity and my kids and my mans and if you haven't already follow me on instagram because i post a lot of positivity and um uplifting things and a lot of people have told me that it's helped them so if i can help you that would be amazing make sure you hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss any future content that i put out and uh like this video if you like vlogs like this and i will do more vlogs like this i know many 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 of you guys that do watch me have been through a lot of shit and I am proud of you guys for sticking through it all. It's not easy. I just recently have really started connecting with other girls and just like putting myself out there to just get together and hang out and uplift them and just like fill their heads with positivity and brainwash other girls to believe in themselves and follow their dreams. And so, I don't know, I would really love to meet you guys if I haven't yet. So let's get together, let's make a video, let's have some coffee. Yes, baby. This kid was getting into water. Can I have a kiss? Show them your scratch from Rosita. Howie. Oh, that's what you get for bugging the cat. Always make sure you are staying true to I love yourself. This person. You see, so Listen. every single day, I love I'm him. staying true to myself. I'm honest with myself, saying, actually, this is the life I chose. This is the life I love. Realize this, deep divers. You are choosing everything if you are in a job that's not making you happy you are choosing that so take responsibility for your life take responsibility for what kind of energy you're putting out there that's the same energy you're gonna get back I, time and time again a lot of people not taking responsibility for their life you're burning yourself out because you're being unfaithful to yourself you start taking care of yourself when you start being your best friend when you wake up every single day and you give yourself a big hug when you start practicing self-love when you start practicing self-acceptance that's how to take care of yourself when you are experiencing burnout so true when you heal yourself sometimes the universe will send you some people to help heal them i love that um that's so sweet I posted that on my Instagram. I hope that helps you guys. I hope my posts help you guys. Um, I do it for you guys. Like, I feel like I'm pretty happy and um, I was never like this. I, you know, I, I did hit a really rough point and it was especially when I felt lonely and the people that I wanted to be there in my life weren't there for me when I needed them the most. And I just really was mad. And I stopped looking for them and um, my freedom, my peace really opened up for, for myself and for my own, my, like I allowed myself to just finally breathe and the weight, all that weight just finally came off my shoulders. I really encourage you guys to yeah. practice self-love and self-care and it's really important. If you don't love yourself, 
you're yeah. not gonna be happy no with anybody your boyfriend your it doesn't matter who it is you will not be happy why because you don't love yourself and you would just be upset and miserable and it's real it's true whether you want to accept it or not whether you agree with me or not if you are constantly mad like random girls that mad dog me all the time and i don't understand why like i used to mad dog back but now i'm just like now I smile and I tell them they, that they look beautiful. It's 2019 guys. Uplifting other girls and empowering other women is the new cool, the new cool thing to do. What are you guys doing? What are you guys focusing on? Come on, get with it. I appreciate you guys so much and um, you may get tired of hearing it, but I'm never gonna stop thanking you guys for your support. So yeah, you guys have a good night and stay strong. You can do it, you can get through anything. There is always somebody that has it worse than you, don't forget that. And there's many people that would do anything to have the blessings that you have. You guys take care, stay strong, stay true.